Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. My fellow Americans, how many states does the United States of America have? 51 is the answer. It seems like Ukraine is the 51st state of the United States of America, and Israel is the capital, it seems to me. But anyway, uh, we have to deal here with Ukraine. What happened? Well, a guy showed up in uh, Kiev, and that is the Secretary of Transportation, Pete Burijang. He made a surprise visit to Kiev to announce new Ukraine transportation advisor. Do you hear that? So this weasel right here, this weasel right here, makes a surprise visit to announce a new Ukraine transportation advisor. So United States is going to place in Ukraine a American transportation advisor for Ukraine. Do you know what it is? If you look, if you look back in history, maybe you get some names for those. I will uh, give you one. Pontus Pilatus. Remember that guy? Pilate. You know, Jesus comes in front of uh, Pontus Pilate. What was he doing over there? The guy was managing Judea, Palestine. What is he? What was he man uh, managing? Rome was sending in its provinces their guys, my friends, consuls, whatever the names they were, and those guys over there were de facto leaders of the province. Nowadays, these guys change a little bit. They send advisors. Now. If the United States sent an advisor to Ukraine, do they have an, a, a transportation advisor in Romania? In Zimbabwe? Do they send everywhere transportation advisor? I'm going to show the advisor's face too, all right? So you can see who that person is. It's a person who worked for the government, uh, it seems like, all his life. Why? Because I don't think in private sector he would have uh, been able to keep a job. Okay? Why? experience my friends i went through this life around the block a few times many people can function only in the government jobs why because if they are required to follow rules show up on time be responsible you cannot keep a job therefore the government keeps these jobs for them because they will be fired in private sector because they're unreliable Let's go back to these guys. So, uh, how many advisors does, I know, France have in uh, Ukraine? Why not France? Maybe Germany has a transportation advisor in Ukraine. Why not? You see, you see what's going on here? You see whose baby Ukraine is? And everybody else has to pay for that? Otherwise, you would have a German transportation advisor, a French transportation, a Russian, a Chinese guy from Iran, from Zimbabwe, my friends, from Japan. No, you have only from one country. That tells you that this is a little protectorate. Protectorate. And who is the, uh, what country is the ones who is, how do you call them, uh, imperialistic? Russia. Russia is imperialistic. This is a clear example of who is imperialistic. Oh, we are helping. So did the Romans. And not only. So let's look at this booty jag. He comes to Ukraine because everything is beautiful in the United States of America. He didn't he realized that here the transportation system and the roads are racist. Remember that one? That's what he said. This guy right here. Oh my god. And you ask me to support this garbage? No, I want to change it into better. Transportation Secretary, this weasel, made a surprise visit to Kiev on Wednesday to meet with Ukrainian officials to talk about the country's economic recovery and infrastructure challenges with the ongoing war with Russia because he knows, he has his experience, he knows this shit, he's an expert, Jesus Christ. And the department said that Robert Mariner, who has done engineering work for the U.S. Air Force, and U.S. Navy and has decades of transportation project experience, government jobs, will serve as transportation advisor to Ukraine. This is the guy. 
That's the guy, man. That's the guy. Isn't he cool? Cool? Yeah, he cool. U.S. appoints, appoints infrastructure advisor in Ukraine. Look at his eyes. That's what I need to look. If you don't uh, see it very clear, go and uh, put his image and pull out his image and see. This guy right here. And what he has in his chest? U.S. and Ukraine flag. Hey, you forgot Israel on top right here. Anyway, this is the guy. Intellectual. He's got glasses. He's got this pompon right here. All right, right there. Beautiful. At least he dresses nicely. I figure I, I'm going to tell you some stories after we look at this guy, right? This is the guy, Robert Mariner, senior transportation advisor. Now, Robert served as a deputy director of the Office of Infrastructure, Finance and Innovation in the Office of the Assistant Secretary for Transportation Policy at the U.S. Department of Transportation, DOT. For more than 20 years, he has worked with state and local governments, tribal governments, transit agencies, institutions of higher education, port authorities, railroad owners and operators, and private sector entities. This guy, all right? So this is the guy, this is the guy. Let me tell you, when I uh, uh, had a certain kind of job, and before you, uh, they let you uh, work, you do some training, and you do some training, and you see a lot of diversity, but uh, some groups are overrepresented. Are overrepresented. But it's okay if that's the other way around and they're overrepresented. That's diversity. If it's, uh, let's say, whites, too many whites, that means one is too many, all right, for these guys. I tell you that all these guys, all the trainers, you know, diverse trainers, they could, you know, have a catwalk. They were nicely dressed. That's all they had. Beautiful dressed, smelling good, with all the hair, all the nails, all the glasses, very intellectual. They were not smart, they were not good, but they were dressed nicely, right? So the appearance was <laughs> impressive, but they were not over there for the appearance. They were over there for this, and they didn't have much. I gotta tell you, direct experience. I have names, okay? And you can I can pull up some pictures if you... If I get to the needy greedy, and that is in front of a judge, okay? So here it is, my friends. Uh, these guys go and help uh, the poor Ukrainians because they're just, I don't know, they, they, they've never seen a car or, I don't know, a railway or anything like that. They need booty jack, booty jack to come and tell them with this guy, with the intellectual, with the pompon right here, okay? These guys, intellectuals, yeah. Experience in the government, great experience, yeah. Yeah, put them in the real world, in the real world, and they're gonna be fired in what? Well, no time. Direct experience, I know that, I've seen it. So when these guys are giving me and selling me shit, I've been in both government and private. So I know. Now it doesn't mean that uh, I've seen every, uh, everything, but neither this guy. Nobody saw everything. But what I saw, I tell you, and that's my direct experience, and contradicts the fairy tales given to us by these guys, all right? So that's why I don't subscribe to their garbage, because I know better. I don't think I'm a dumbass, and I haven't been in the basement for the past uh, few decades, all right? So I've been around the block many times, not only here, but in other areas too. So that's a big lie. Remember the big lie? All right. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.